Good morning, this is Todd Reese for Kaosat English in Chiang Rai. Today is the day. That was the message of former Chiang Rai Governor Narong Sak, also Tanakon, speaking here about two kilometers away from the cave where the media was moved to early this morning. Time and water are remain the two greatest challenges in this rescue operation now in its 16th day. A light rain is already falling and another storm's brewing and with that will come rising water levels and conditions in the cave aren't good. So the plan the plan is that you're okay. You're okay. The the plan is that 13 oh about an hour ago 13 foreign divers and five Thai Navy SEALs began the journey to reach the boys in the chamber where they're at. He said that the plan is for the children to be brought out in pairs with two divers assigned to each child. And it's a very difficult journey. The water is turbulent. There aren't long stretches without air pockets up above. There's no light, of course, and the water's very muddy. And in some places, the, pass the passages are only a, they shrink to a little less than a meter. Governor said, <clears throat> at 10 a.m., 13 foreign divers went in to rescue the boys with five Thai Navy SEALs. He says all 13, including the coach, are in good physical and mental condition and ready to do this. The children, of course, are age 11 to 16, and I believe may not have had much swimming experience before, or maybe not even sure if they knew how to swim. They'll come out in pairs he said that the earliest he thinks they might come out is about 9 p.m. local time. The regional army commander says that they chose this plan. They, they considered all the options. They said that drilling through the back of the cave wasn't going to work. They could not find a chimney to find access to get anywhere near them from above. Due to the terrain, they're unable to, they were, they've been unable to drill a an air hole down from above so it has to be today uh, he says they rehearsed of, of basically they've, they've selected the least bad of the options that they've had and he says they've drilled and rehearsed the plan they've chosen and they believe they're ready uh, medics are standing by says the families have been informed and most importantly the families have signed off on this operation he said uh, he, he they asked for the public support and 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 asked that everyone give their best thoughts that the operation will be successful he says that they've had experts assessing the condition of the boys and the coach and believe that they're ready the water level has been dropping inside the cave. They say that many areas are now walkable. Now, after the junction where things get particularly treacherous, it's likely still flooded. This morning, the press was moved away from the site. They said that was <clears throat> it's a limited area. They said they needed all that space to uh, stage operations and move people through. So. Now we've been uh, relocated to local government offices down the road where uh, we will remain and look for additional updates to provide you. The cave is just in the hills over here. This is the Doi Kun Tam Luang Kun Nam Nang Non, which means the Sleeping Lady Mountain. Uh, in clear weather conditions, it actually does resemble a, a, a human figure at rest. A light rain is falling and, and heavier rain is expected for later today. There was no update given on oxygen or carbon dioxide levels inside of the cave which really have been a problem for, for the past few days. That really seemed to, to create the urgency was uh, falling oxygen, rising CO2, uh, in addition to the rising water levels.
Yesterday was a, a, a very frantic and busy day of activity at the site. Soldiers, medics, volunteers, rescue workers, and of course, uh, an ever-swelling gaggle of, of reporters from Thailand and abroad. Well, it's beginning to look like that rain that has been talked about is, is really starting to fall. So we'll get back to you as soon as we can with any additional information we have. Be sure to check cowsodenglish.com for updates and information. Thank you. This is Todd Reese for Cowsod English.